So let's have a quick look at some rendering settings and logic for how to get your images out of Clarice and into Photoshop. I'm going to up my resolution to 3840 by 2160. So that's 4K. You can work at maybe 8K if you want, but I find that 4K is kind of the limit for how much I can handle in terms of my patience. I've done projects in 8K and it becomes very difficult to find textures and find the time and the resources to make everything look crisp and perfect. At 4K, I think it's a nice balance of high resolution image, image and also, you know, reasonable time and that, that, you know, that, that, that it'll take you to complete the project. So, Let's keep the resolution multiplier at 100%. And next up, we want to go to our ray tracer that we created at the very start. And here, for example, we can tweak the settings for the quality of our anti-aliasing, uh, the samples we want for all of the different um, types of surfaces. I'm not going to go into too much depth, depth on this. But I would just say if any of your renders, for example, the lights look a little bit grainy, go into the appropriate uh, tab and just adjust the samples a little bit. For example, one thing to watch out for are the god rays, which by default are quite grainy. Let me just select a chunk here and let this render. So I'll pause for a second. So we can see that this is a little bit grainy and I would recommend for the volume sampling multiplier to be up to maybe let's do 4 and let's see how that impacts the results. I'll just pause again to let this render. Okay, so now my render with the higher samples is done and we can see if I click here we can select our previous render. We can see a pretty big improvement in terms of the quality. Let me zoom in a little bit more. So this is current and this was the previous version. So especially with the volume renders you got to make sure that you're getting a good result and of course you can denoise a little bit later in Photoshop but you want to push it as far as you, re as you reasonably can within Clarice, of course, as much as your time and computer capabilities permit you. Okay, so once you have all of your layers done rendering, you will want to save all of these out by clicking the save image here. Uh, later on, we'll look at how to render out sequences when we turn this into a moving shot, but for now, uh, we just want to save the images separately and so if you enable all of them like this and leave the render on overnight while you sleep or when you're out of the house or if you have a render farm maybe that way um, and you know give it some time and once they're all done save and export them out into Photoshop and in the next video we are going to look at how to combine all of these again in Photoshop and begin our matte painting process in 2D. See you there.